2021 has been a huge year for us here at Digivangelism. In 2020, we launched our YouTube channel and had our first paid purchases ever. And so this year, we've really been growing into our skin, helping people more and more with their digital ministry presence, and of course, solidifying our mission here at Digi. It's been a wonderful, beautiful, fantastic thing. 2021 was also the year that I launched my own video editing business. And so some big steps required some big purchases. So I'm gonna tell you about those. These are my top five purchases of 2021. My top five purchases start kind of small though. Purchases don't have to be expensive to be powerful, do they? Number five is this Ecolo World Traveler desk size journal. It's a journal I bought off Amazon. This is actually my third uh, notebook from this seller. It is lined with blank pages as a good journal should be and I love it. The top three things that I look for in a notebook like this, a journal where I write thoughts, feelings, ideas, dreams, business concepts, uh, daily plans, like lists, whatever I have. The top three things I look for. First, it has to be visually appealing. Like this has a lot of motivating words on it. Um, I love that. I need a little bit of that and every journal that I buy from them has been a little different. I want to want to write in this thing and I do. I love this. The second thing I look for, lines. Like the lines have to be the perfect size. Do I know what size this is? No. Um, but sometimes you get notebooks and like there's too much space or there's too many lines and I needed it to be like I just find this perfect. Does that look perfect to you? I love it. And the third thing I look for is that it's not spiral bound. I know that sounds kind of silly, but honestly, some spiral bound notebooks, like I'm just constantly ripping pages out of, like they're, they're getting caught in things when I put it in a backpack or a bag. And if I was like ripping pages out of this thing, I would be so frustrated throughout the entire time I'm using it. And these last me about a year, so I don't want to be frustrated all year. So I get a notebook that I like. Everyone has their own preferences in a journal, and so I would recommend if you don't know what yours are, go to the store, any store. I mean, a store that sells journals, and check them out, and you know, page through a couple of them and get a feel for them, try one out. It's the only way you're gonna learn. Get one that you love and that you will write in, and writing is good for your mind, body, soul, everything. So if you haven't been writing and you like writing, maybe this is your sign to get back to it. Number four, Envato Elements. One of the best ways that I've advanced my video editing business over the past year is by investing in tools that make me more efficient, that make me have more ability to edit people's videos in better ways. One of these investments has been Envato Elements. But Envato Elements does not just offer tools for video editors. Anyone can make use of royalty-free music, sound effects, graphics, website templates, presentation templates, stock photos, and more. You will quickly fall in love with Envato. Starting at just $16.50 per month for individuals and less for teams and students, it is well worth a saved headache, especially if you'll use it more than once a month. If you're tired of searching for stock photos, music, videos, any other things I mentioned, I strongly recommend that you invest in this cost-efficient, cost-effective solution. We have an affiliate link for Envato Elements and the Desk Journal and everything else that we're listing below, so if you would like to check out these products further, click the link in the description below. Top purchase number three, homemade desk. As discussed in our home office tour video, 2021 was a year of a new desk for my spouse and I. We ended up building our own desk out of two large storage cabinets and a long piece of butcher block, which looks super slick, might I add. Billy, my husband, painted the cabinets that night, and by the next day we had a brand new desk and yes, with a succulent included. We had to embrace the fullness of our millennial nature. There will certainly be more office upgrades to come, but for now I'm super happy with our desk and I can stand at it, I can sit at it, it's perfect. Number two of my top purchases of 2021 is a hammock with a cover. I know, it's not digital related or really ministry related, right? And yet it has everything to do with how well I can function in tech and ministry. Hammocks have been a huge game changer for me the past few years. And if you say hammock, comment below so I know who my enemies are. No, that's really mean, right? My friends all say hammock, but I say hammock. Laying in a hammock is an opportunity to relax, to chill out, to disconnect from the world. You're disconnected from the earth. You're literally hanging between two trees. You're not even like worried about any bugs that could get you to you, critters or anything like that. The thing is, I was worried about bugs, even though I was in a hammock, because if you take a nap in a hammock, what if a spider gets in and then it's like cocooned in the hammock with you, hanging out? Not okay. This was especially an issue when I would take a weekend away to go camping with friends and if we would try to sleep in the hammocks overnight, not, not gonna happen. 
Like, it didn't happen. I got out of the hammock in the middle of the night because I couldn't do it. Enter hammock with zippers. That's right, this hammock from G4 Free has a zipper that goes all the way around the open space of a typical hammock, completely insulating you from spiders, affectionately called spooters, all while allowing you to breathe. I received this hammock as part of a sponsorship not related to Digi or this post from G4 Free, but I fell in love immediately upon opening it. There's just something relaxing about feeling untouchable, not only by humanity, but by the buggy too. And finally, purchase number one of 2021, my laptop. Finally, my top purchase of 2021 was hands down my new Lenovo ThinkPad 15G. I talked about this in our video comparing our new Digi laptops and also highlighted some of my key favorite aspects of this laptop in that video. One of the things I talked about loving so much about this purchase was the five year support plan that I purchased for it, which I just had to use in the past month. I needed to actually have a tech come over, do some things. We reformatted some things. I don't really know. There were a lot of things that happened. Um, but we're all set and it happened like within a day or two and it was free. It was included in that support purchase that I made, but worth it. The team at Lenovo was incredibly responsive and helpful after a less than positive experience with less than helpful technical care for my cyber power PC desktop. Lenovo's response was a dream come true. If you're interested in more stats about my laptop, my new video editing Lenovo awesome laptop, which I love so much, or Michelle's laptop because she got a new laptop this year as well. We made a video, which I will link above that reviews both of our laptops. I'll leave the stats in the description below as well. I would not change a thing about this laptop personally, and I look forward to many years of helping progressive leaders share hope, healing, and light online through their digital ministry using this tool. So what about you? What have been your best purchases of 2021? It's been a heck of a year. I hope you've been able to find some tools that make life a little more relaxing and a lot more fulfilling for you. Comment below if you have any tools that you absolutely love. We would love to check them out. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe below. I'm Sammy here at Digivangelism and peace. Peace. Peace as you go and use all these wonderful tools. Okay, bye.